Hello and welcome to our art show. This painting delineates when Ferdos killed her pimp. She said she fell as light as a feather since her fears really melted away. She wasn't afraid to hit back at this point. She knew it was possible. So the feathers and blood represents that scene. The black background represents her fears as black is associated with fear and darkness. Really fear of the unknown since you can't see in darkness. The feathers are white to represent her reclaimed innocence and youth because killing her pimp can be as interpreting her imprisonment and disabling worry of the system she was grown into. So this beautiful painting by the beautiful Maya is one that represents the power that comes from books. It really tells how she Frutos, learned how to read and how that gave her the power of knowledge. The glass represents a glass wall she broke through as she continued to gain this power of knowledge so that she could become, have the potential to be equal in a sense of being a scholar to her male counterparts by learning to read. Over time, through this, she acquires the knowledge and in the same sense freedom through her knowledge. In this captivating painting by Maya, she captures Ferdos' use of eyes to interpret others in her own light because we all see people through our own eyes and what i'm saying is that we all have our own window we see other people through and that window is different from everybody else's because of our own experiences, our own interpretations, our own light of the world. So this, <laughs> back to the beautiful painting, the eyes are a window to the soul. So the black and white here is used in this painting since Fertos only uses black and white to describe most people's eyes as she says white rings that get whiter and whiter for her mother and jet black for her husband when he begins to be her, which are a few examples. This painting 
also depicts how we see through the eyes of Verdos in her life. Back to that window analogy I was making, we're seeing this interpretation of this experience of hers in the given society and the religion and culture she's in through her window, her eyes, which may have a little taint in it, <laughs> a little dirt, or it's a little wash. My point is that, again, everyone has different interpretations of things. And this photo delineates her Ferdos's interpretation. So this exquisite piece of art is a illustration of what Ferdos had gone through, really connecting to feminine stereotypes that were harmful. The femininity abstract is really pronounced with the pink to represent the abstract feminine stereotypes, such as being a quiet housewife. And of course, you know that stereotype that all little girls have that cliche of liking pink. There is little to no white in this painting. As you can see, it's really all covered the canvas and there's no to no white paint to really highlight that her youth was taken away and stripped from her as the red is splattered to imitate blood really algorizing the harm from stereotypes and family traditions such as the mutilation done by her mother and the woman in the beginning of the novel. Again, here we have pink that represents femininity and the roses really interpret love as roses are a staple in gifts for such occasions that are connected to sharing and displaying affection then we have the black background to algorize the fear and betrayal of trust because everyone Ferdos loved or trusted hurt her such as her uncle Abraham In this photo we have Ferdos who is hiding from all of the hands who are trying to get a hold of her some of these hands have white fingernails and some have black fingernails, as Ferdos believes that some people are good and some are bad. Yet regardless, they all stretch their coveting hands towards Ferdos. This illustrates that even if you think someone is a good person, they could always have ulterior motives. This photo represents a young woman who is constantly under the watch of others. She is constantly gazed at by these watchful eyes who scrutinize her for only how she looks on the outside and not how she truly is. This picture shows the woman holding a happy, colorful mask. This represents herself which she shows to others out in the world. But instead, if she takes off the mask, there is a sad, frowning black and white version of her which she keeps hidden away from the general populace.
This drawing is a little simpler and has some easily recognizable symbols. As drawn, there are different body types and each has a price, which represents the objectification of woman and the standards that people have upon different body types of woman. By the way, the numbers are from a random number generator and the artist wishes that no one attacks her afterwards. In this picture, we have two representations of Firidos. The older Firidos is holding a white chrysanthemum, which is a symbol of death, and she is calmly looking at the flower. This represents Firidos who is at peace with and welcomes death. In her shadow is the younger version of Firidos. The light and dark schemes also have another meaning. The younger Firidos is represented as being in the dark about life and she doesn't know much about life yet, opposed to the older version of Firidos. The white lily which she is holding represents her innocence, which she had as a child while in the dark. But after being shown the world, she has now lost the white lily, and instead she holds a white chrysanthemum, only looking and hoping towards death. Thank you very much for attending this art gallery of Maya and Shabira's artwork. I'd like to explicitly give credit to Maya and Shibira for helping with the commentary of this art gallery and thank you to Taxon and Neil. Great group effort! <laughs>